everybody Ann here and today I was gonna do this big cool build thing but once I got started I realized that I don't have long enough screws so I'm gonna have to go into town and y'all know how much I love doing that and buy some longer screws but let me show you some of the materials that I'm gonna use and see if you can guess what I'm gonna do see that down there those are pieces of wood that I have found all over my property I've taken the nails out of ones that still had them in it and I've kind of piled them up according to size and that is what I'm going to build this well I'm not going to tell you but I'm going to build something cool I don't know if it'll turn out but you know what if it doesn't that's okay you know it's a learning experience so I've got to figure out something else to do today I don't have to door dash today and I did buy something for my dog so you know what I'm gonna put that up and just have a look around my property and I need to ask you guys for some advice on different parts of my land so let me get that dog run up and see how Betty likes it that's as far as I could get it in I just don't have the strength to get it in any further so now all we have to do is hook this on to this end and then I got to go find that tree and put the hook on the other end but I got to do some stuff to the to this cable first so whew, this is hard work see that <laughs> I got a problem the bit came out and I don't know if I've stripped my drill on the inside you know the part that this this goes into I tried to tighten it up as much as I could and reverse it and it won't come out so now I'm going to just see if I can do this by hand I don't know. Oh gosh, this sucks so bad. Maybe my needle nose pliers will work a little bit better. I don't know. Let me see if I do this with both hands if it works. <laughs> Long story short, it didn't work and I ended up snapping the drill bit. And it's fallen off down here somewhere and part of it's still in the tree. so. I'm gonna see if I can just get that hook in there just by my own brute strength. A couple taps with a hammer and I've got it started. So now, oh, it's just really hard to turn. Let me get my pliers and see if I can get it the rest of the way in. All right, that's about as far as it's gonna get. I mean, I'm all the way up on this ladder. Uh, using a needle nose pliers actually worked better for me. And this is, this is solid, you know, and this tree was not giving up my drill bit, so I don't think it's going to give up this. So now I need to do the next part. Well, there it is. I think these clamps are tight enough. They're going to have to do for now because this wore me out. Um, I'm pulling on it and it's not, it's not coming undone, so I'm not going to cut this extra length. I'm going to leave it here because I'm going to probably undo this and have somebody stronger than me pull it tighter because here let me show you the other end of it um, and you'll see why. There it is. It's attached to the tiny house. This needs to be a little bit tighter but I just don't have the physical strength to do it. So I just got to do a couple more things to it and I think it's going to be ready for the doggy. She doesn't get it yet. Alright, come on Betty, come on out this way. Let's see. Let's see you how far you can go. Come on, girlfriend. Right on. Yep, come on. Come on. She'll get it. Whoop, there's an anthill. Hopefully I I, I stay out of the anthill. I need to I need to dispatch that anthill. Alright, Betty, come on. Come on. You can do it. Yay! She's got it. She's got that thing underneath of her. Let me see if I can fix that. Well, her color actually needs to be a little tighter and that one doesn't go any tighter. Um, she'll figure it out. Come on, Betty. Come over here. Come on. Come on. She just thinks that there's a very small perimeter that she's allowed to go around and so that's what she's doing. Come on, baby. You'll get it. Come on. Come on, Betty. Oh yeah, see, you got all this room to run around now. Right on. Yeah, I definitely got to get rid of that anthill. Maybe not the brightest place to put it, but I couldn't think of any other place to put it. It's 60 feet. I've still got plenty of room left, so I could technically, well, I was going to say attach it over there, but there's another anthill over there. So, well, I'm just going to let her run around on this, and you know what? It is cold outside, 
and today is going to be a perfect day to make some potato soup on the rocket stove. Well, the rocket stove is roaring. Yes, indeed, it's going very well. I got my pot ready, and yes, that's a dirty cast iron. Um, I, I get it as clean as I can, but the lid too. I m mostly use it to cook outdoors. And it's going inside, I'm gonna have to add some more wood. So let's just put the potato soup on. Nothing too interesting about this at all. Just a bunch of potatoes, like three large potatoes. A can of cream of mushroom soup because I don't have all the other things that I need for the flavorings and whatnot. Um, you don't really need to add it at all. I mean, if you cook the potato soup, just plain potatoes, it'll, it's still going to turn out good. Later, I'll add some cheddar cheese and some milk. I don't want to add that until a little bit later. Um, that little floaty stuff, that's Parmesan cheese. I forgot that I usually add that towards the end, too. I just got a little bit in there. That's all right. But this is getting really hot, and it is going to be delicious when it's done. But it takes a long time to cook, so um, I figured let's do it outside on my rocket stove and just use wood and not use propane. Okay, let's cover this up and find some more wood. Check it out. It's still going strong. It's working great. I think this bigger, longer little pipe thing works. And if I don't fill it up completely this way and don't obstruct this little thing, plenty of airflow. I might have to puff on it every now and then, but... It is going great, and ooh, look at that. The flames are actually starting to come up the top again. I think it's time to stir the potato soup. Oh my goodness, look at, she has absconded with my fire poker stick. Betty, can I have my stick back, please? Hey, girlfriend. Betty! She's like, no, 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 no. I'm keeping my stick. I'm keeping it. She's got her paws on it. She's like, no way, Jose. I'm going to get it. I'm just kidding. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I will get it. You, I will get it. I will get it from you. Give it to me. Give it to me. Come on, Betty. Give it to me. Give it. Oh, that's okay. You can have it. You know one thing I've learned about these rocket stoves? is if you get greedy and you can try and stick like big logs in there or you know even big sticks it doesn't really work as good they don't burn as well i found that just getting a bunch of the smaller sticks about you know maybe around this this much around diameter um that and if you just keep shoving those in those work better i don't know maybe i'm doing something wrong but all I know is if I get the smaller sticks and I just keep feeding it, then this thing just works great. It's only when I've tried to get really big logs, like, you know, like this big around and shove them in there that it really doesn't work. So, I don't know, guys. I am just, I'm loving this rocket stove. I'm loving that I can come out here and sit underneath of this sun shelter, even if it's raining, and cook myself up a meal <laughs> just with fuel that I find on my property. I don't need to use propane or butane or any anything at all. I just shove the stuff in there and light it on fire and it works. And I don't even have to use like lighter fuel or anything. If you just get some kindling, like some, um, some leaves and some uh, pine needles and whatnot and put those down in there first, light those on fire. You know, you all know how to light a fire, but it's great. And check me out. I'm in my Christmas jacket that my parents gave me because it's cold. Ooh, this is boiling over. I need to stir this. Finally. Alrighty, probably about 30 more minutes of it boiling like this. And then I'm going to put the cheese and the milk in it. This is going to be really delicious. Oh, and I didn't have to use any purchased fuel. This is all stuff that I found for my property. So, total bonus. This has been boiling for a while now. So, and the potatoes are soft. And what I do sometimes is I just kind of like to help thicken it a little bit. I'll mush some of them. And yes, I do leave the peels on my potatoes. They've got lots of nutrition in them. So I'm not getting rid of that nutrition. So I'm just going to dump this cheese in. Stir it around a little bit. 
Parmesan and sharp cheddar cheese just because I like the flavor of sharp cheddar cheese. Stir that in all very nicely and then I'm going to go get the milk. Milk time! And I just use reconstituted non-fat dry milk. Yep, that's still a little bit lumpy but that's okay, it'll be just fine. And this will help thicken it. It's just got a little while longer to go and then it's going to be done. And the good thing about potato soup is you can do it so many different ways. Uh, a lot of times I'll add sour cream to it. Sometimes I'll add bacon, crumbled bacon to it. Um, sometimes I add onions to it, but I'm going to let Betty have a little bit of this. So um, I didn't want to put onions in it today. So we'll just bring this back to a boil. We'll, we'll keep kind of stirring it a little bit because it's going to probably boil over. And I'm thinking about... 15 20 minutes or so this is gonna be done and it is gonna be delicious but I'm gonna take a taste of this and see how good it is oh my goodness it is so hot all right let me get a little and blow it off mm. It is very good. It would be totally better if it had bacon in it, but this is very good potato soup. So you know what I want? I want you guys to tell me how you make your potato soup and what you put in it. And uh, you know what? Maybe we can all learn from each other. I was going to take you for a walk around my property and ask you advice for different areas and whatnot, but you know what? I just got so distracted by well, making potato soup and looking at my property and just relaxing huh? that I forgot to do all that. So we'll save that for the next video. Anyhow, that's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.